located in Indian country. There are 22 tribal nations in Arizona. ASU's campuses are situated on the homelands of many indigenous peoples, including the Akamal Atham and Peeposh. Arizona State University recognizes the original inhabitants of these lands and recognizes that they still reside throughout the Phoenix metropolitan area. And we recognize the impact of their wisdom and generosity towards us. If you've flown into the valley, you have undoubtedly seen the Salt River Project canals that surround the area. Those modern day canals follow the framework of the canals originally constructed by ancestral Sonoran desert people, who will come to make this area both livable and a place where peoples could thrive. We acknowledge that the modern day indigenous nations that descended from the ancestral peoples are the original inhabitants of this land. Welcome to Spring 2021 University Commencement and College Virtual Ceremonies for Arizona State University. We welcome our graduates, families, and guests as we celebrate the Class of 2021. The placing of the University Mace by Professor Seeming Levinson, President of the ASU Faculty Senate, signals the beginning of this official University Ceremony. It is my pleasure to introduce the 16th president of Arizona State University, Michael M. Crow. Well, hard to believe, but here we are, commencement 2021. Exciting thing is that we're all here together in one form or another. We're very excited about being able to bring you the university graduation. In this format, we've got uh, 19,000 or so total graduating with us, but all of you also have the opportunity to be at your college or school uh, convocation. So we're very excited. That'll be more hybrid, uh, more, more personal, and more interactive. But nonetheless, here we are. Uh, we're in the middle of the global pandemic. Uh, we're in the middle of uh, rapid complexity, complexification of uh, all things. And yet, here we are. You've persevered. Your families have persevered. Uh, you've stuck with uh, all of the things now for more than a year. And I just want to say on behalf of the university faculty, students, staff, everybody that's a part of our community, congratulations to, uh, to all of you. It really is an unusual moment. It's one in which uh, we always, uh, uh, in, when we're together in a crowd, we uh, turn to our graduates and we ask them to uh, thank their families. So I hope that each of you will do that. Uh, uh, give them a hug, give them a kiss, tell them thank you, thank you for being there, thank you for supporting me, thank you for helping me through everything, thank you for helping me to understand that I needed to keep going and keep moving, <clears throat> and just thank you for uh, everything to get me here. We also ask that uh, all the teachers in our audience uh, stand and be recognized, the K-12 teachers, the community college uh, faculty, and we ask that our graduates thank uh, them and as we thank and honor these teachers that have brought you as graduates to us. We realize that we're a part of the process. We realize that we're a part of a continuum of learning, something that we call the universal learner co continuum. You go through your entire life. We believe that there's whole new ways to link learning together. So we just like to recognize all of the all of the teachers. And then and then there's our faculty. ASU has over 5,000 faculty members. Uh, this is a world-class research university. We've been involved in recreating how we teach, re recreating our learning environments, recreating and expanding and evolving our discovery and creativity environments. And so we found a way to construct a, a, a new kind of university, something we call a new American university. 
Our faculty are deeply committed to student success. Our faculty are deeply committed to community success. Our faculty are deeply committed to unbelievable demographic diversity in the student body. Uh, we work towards this. We, we've, we've greatly accelerated our graduation rates, the success of our students, the moving forward of our students. And so if we were together, I'd ask all of you to, to, to rise on our faculty so that our students that are graduating could recognize you. But I just want to take a special moment for the faculty that are watching this video to say just thank you. Uh, you've been unbelievably adaptive. You've been unbelievably creative. You have persevered. You have adapted to everything. And so, you know, we get we get some rocks thrown at us. You know, uh, how are you doing? And you know, why are we doing this? And why are we looking at everything on on Zoom technologies? And it's not as good as being physically present and so forth and so on. And so, it often isn't. But it often is, and in some cases, is even better. And so, what we found in this year. Uh, of 2020 and 2021, what we found is that we've learned. We've learned to be a better university. Our faculty have advanced. We've developed new t teaching and learning techniques. And given where we are and everything that we've been through, um, you know, I just want to say thank you to the faculty for all that you've been able to achieve. And I hope that each of you as students will reach out to the faculty that impacted you the most, to the faculty that had the deepest uh, uh, transformational effect on you, or the faculty member that really just got you going when you were down, and just say thank you. Just reach out. Just say thank you, because it really has been a, a difficult year for everyone. You know, this, this year, I hope uh, people have seen what we have done. You know, we've, we've kept the institution moving forward in the middle of the first global pandemic in over 100 years. Uh, we have done that in a moment in time where the greatest scientific progress in vaccine technology that humans have ever been able to uh, bring forward has been brought forth during this year. Now we're struggling to you know, make sure that we get it out to everyone, but nonetheless, the science has been uh, unbelievable. We found ways to use technology to stay connected, to keep everything moving. We found ways to be, to be generous with each other, to be generous with those that uh, lost their jobs, to, uh, to uh, help uh, businesses to stay open, to help families to stay intact. Uh, we at the university have done all that we could, uh, and we can always do more if you're aware of other people that have needs to help people to be able to graduate, to help them financially, to help them emotionally, to help them in every possible way. And so I just want to say that, you know, this has been a moment, I hope, of, galvaniz of galvanizing you, galvanizing your thinking, and uh, uh, realizing that you should take nothing for granted, nothing. Uh, the world is uh, uh, as we uh, make it, and the world is as we adapt to it. And so uh, I know different people have reacted to everything in different ways, and we should be respectful of all of those reactions. We should recognize that some have been anxious and some have not been anxious, and we should recognize that, that uh, what we really need to do here more than any other thing, and this is what I'm so proud of uh, relative to ASU, is coming together, working together. We have a thing at ASU that we call the community of care, and 99% of the people involved with the university, our students, our staff, our contractors, our faculty, everybody, have taken on a burden of caring about other people as much or more than you care about yourself. And then that means we've been able to manage our way through this pandemic uh, in, in very effective ways. I think uh, the class of 2021, and I say this to people all the time and they don't really believe me, I think our models about students and uh, the preparation of students, I mean, students are not on a learning curve where we're giving them an education and someday they may do something. Far from it. You know, we're living in a world now where everyone is empowered by technology. They're empowered by the internet. They're able to study across cultures. They're able to study across uh, complex subjects. They're able to double major and triple major. They're able to do things, build things. I mean, we had a group of students this year uh, that uh, won the uh, X Prize for masking technology against a thousand other teams. We had a group of students this year, including online students who uh, have been involved in the design and deployment of a mission that will go on the surface of the moon. That's a scientific experiment. Uh, we've got unbelievable talent and, uh, and energy in our student body. And it's not something like we're just working to prepare you. We're just working to help you to be able to get a job. I mean, far from it. That's not what we do. Our job is to empower you to be a master learner. Our job is to take you coming to us from whatever uh, background you come from, whatever family background you come from, whatever cultural background that you come from, and empower you to be a master learner to be capable of learning anything, adjusting to anything, teaming across different subjects, taking on complex issues of social change, complex issues of economic development and economic progress, taking on global climate change, taking on sustainability, taking on the development of new kinds of businesses, new kinds of musical enterprises, new kinds of artistic expression. What we're after is a way in which we are set to enable and empower you. And so I've been very, very uh, excited about watching that happen across all the dimensions of the university, our public service academy and the Watts College, 
uh, for public service and community solutions. Our undergraduate student body, our graduate students, I mean, they are problem solvers now. They are teachers and learners and discoverers now. Uh, we've got students involved in everything imaginable, and, and from my perspective, it's just, it's just fantastic. Uh, uh, if anything, the pandemic has driven up our commitment to um, social equity. It's driven up our commitment to uh, having a deep impact across our society. It's driven up the creativity of our faculty and our students, and for all of that, I am grateful. But in particular to you, you all have passed through a particular uni unique moment. You may not see it now. You may still be grumbling a bit about, you know, that you, you, you know, you're not at a all university graduation and you haven't been able to see some of your friends and there have been, you know, obviously families that have, had, have suffered tremendous losses and all these things, but you are here and you are here with us now and you are prepared as well as anyone that's ever been prepared in the history of our species to now move forward as a 21st century learner, as a 21st century creator, solving all these issues that we're facing, all these complexities that we're facing, and, and there's a number of them. And so I'm very confident that this is going to be something that you're going to be able to do. Arizona State University is an institution that is deeply committed to the combination of egalitarian access, academic excellence, and deep impact on our community. And I hope that has left each of you with a a little personal addition to your, to your uh, mental DNA. And that means then that you understand what egalitarian access means in the functioning uh, evolution of a democracy going forward, that you understand that we have to drive up educational attainment, that you understand that we have to make certain that our institutions to advance our democracy are not exclusive. We can't be keep keeping people out of things. We can't keep be keeping people from graduating from high school. We can't be keeping people from voting. We can't be keeping people from moving on into careers. We can't be keeping people from not being able to go to college and move forward with their lives. We can't be keeping people who didn't or weren't able to finish college from coming back and easily finishing college. And so it's all about finding a way to help the democracy to work. So if I have a, a single message for you, it really is this. So you've lived through a unique time. You have advanced during this unique time. You have a unique responsibility. And um, there's nothing to be discouraged about. Nothing at all. There is, in fact, just the opposite. This is a moment of uh, a carpe diem moment, a seize the day moment. This is a moment for you to take your experience, to take what you've been through during this pandemic, what your family has been through during this pandemic, to take what our society has been through during this pandemic, if your family hasn't been particularly affected, to take what you've learned here at ASU and move out and seize the day. Obviously, we need all kinds of great things moving forward. We have great opportunities moving forward, and I am totally 100% confident that the graduates of Arizona State University will leave marks going forward that will alter the trajectory for our country, alter the trajectory for our planet, and we'll all be better off because of you. So congratulations to the class of 2021 and carpe diem. We have one objective, to successfully enable those things that you dream about. To help you to be able to move through this phase of your life. Your success is our success. Empowerment is your success. We have no other reason for existence. We are here to help you. We are an institution measured on who we include versus who we exclude and how those students succeed.
eventually if we want to stabilize the CO2. just coming into our newsroom. Starting Monday, ASU is moving all of its in-person classes to online classes in order to protect students from the coronavirus. President Michael Crow announced this. I have a professor, uh, love her heart, um, her name is Marsha, and she's 73, and I did not think she was going to be able to figure it out, but she isn't doing anything. To extend greetings on behalf of the Arizona Board of Regents, I am pleased to introduce Regent Larry Pendley. Congratulations. On behalf of the Arizona Board of Regents, it is my honor to congratulate each of you for what you have accomplished. You have, and will have today, a university degree. A university degree that you have spent long weeks, months, and years earning. It is something that has provided for you the critical thinking skills that you will need throughout your life. It has provided for you an opportunity that those without a college degree do not have. An opportunity for the new economy, an economy that will be driven through your lives by the need for increased sophisticated technological skills. It is a society that also will need the kind of individuals like you who will be prepared to participate in our democracy in a way that those without a college education don't usually participate. First of all, you'll have the critical thinking skills to evaluate information that you receive. You're far more likely to vote. You're far more likely to provide community service. That's the consequence of a college degree. You're going to graduate in a time I know that doesn't have the kind of jobs that you may have wished for. But I have to tell you, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic for you and for me. This is an economy, especially here in Arizona, that has been more resilient than the economy in much of our country. It is a, an economy that is already begin to show the kind of job growth that will matter to you as you enter your careers 
and graduate from the university. This is a time, I believe, to be optimistic. And I know that's a struggle these days with all that we see and hear. But it is a time for you to commence on your career with the kind of experience, the kind of knowledge and skills that will serve you well throughout your life. On behalf of the Arizona Board of Regents, congratulations. Now to present remarks on behalf of the ASU Alumni Association, Chair of the Board, Chris Hill. Very special greeting to the distinguished members of the class of 2021. On behalf of over 500,000 alumni around the world, I want to extend congratulations on your graduation from Arizona State University, the new American University. I know you are extremely proud of this accomplishment. While these are unprecedented times that you will remember, I hope you will also have all of those other memories like I have had over the years, both in the classroom and outside, meeting individuals who have become lifelong friends, rooting for our Sun Devils, joining a club or intramural team, cramming for exams, all that and more. And now, today, you'll be graduating from the most innovative university in the United States. President Crow and his leadership team are transforming higher education, and you, the class of 2021, are the beneficiaries as an alumni of this great institution. The ASU Alumni Association is your constant connection to ASU. As an Army ROTC graduate and a 20-year Army veteran who traveled all over our country and the world, one constant I always had through the Alumni Association was an ability to connect with fellow Sun Devil alumni anywhere I was stationed. So whether you remain in Arizona or move out of the state or to another country, there was always an alumni presence. Sun Devils are everywhere. I invite you to become involved in the Alumni Association and remain engaged with your alma mater and fellow Sun Devils. Sun Devil alumni who are celebrating with the class of 2021, please congratulate and welcome the newest members of our ASU alumni family. Congratulations, graduates, and forks up. Now to present remarks on behalf of the Graduate and Professional Student Association, John Oyas, president of GPSA. Class of 2021, congratulations. We graduated and earned our respective degrees during a global crisis and a worldwide pandemic. What, like it's hard? All jokes aside, graduating during this time of our lives speaks volumes about our character and our ability to maintain focus to achieve our dreams, regardless of the curveballs life throws at us. We persevered. On the afternoon of March 11, 2020, we were all told by the university administration that our academic and student life will change drastically as we know it. We will not have access to our physical classrooms. We will not have face-to-face -face interactions with our classmates, and we will be forced to live life in front of our computer screens and through our fingertips. This brought challenges we never thought we had to deal with during our academic careers. Some of us lost loved ones. Some of us had to take care of children and vulnerable family members while meeting academic obligations. And for the most of us, we have had to go through the most difficult of challenges without having the comfort of a hug. It may be an understatement to say that this year was tough, but it's not an understatement to say that we were tougher. We have grown and learned so many things far beyond what the four corners of the classroom can teach us. We learn how to show care and be men and women for others, even in virtual spaces. We learn to advocate for ourselves when we needed help. And most importantly, we learn how to keep the fighting spirit alive. I hope you take this opportunity to look back and see the better version of yourself that you have become. But of course, we could not have done this alone. We had loved ones, friends, Colleagues and mentors guide us through the ups and downs of our academic and professional careers. And to them, I say my greatest thank you. My final message for you, class of 2021, is that when you remember this time of our lives, don't remember it as a lonely and chaotic time, but instead celebrate your resilience, your achievements, and your fight to keep your ambitions alive because the next generations who will come after us may need this type of inspiration in the future. Once again, this is John Oyas, an immigrant from Cebu, Philippines, a graduate of Sandra Day O'Connor College of Law and the graduate student government president of the largest public university in the United States of America. I wish you all, my fellow Sun Devils, my warmest congratulations and go Devils. 
Now to present remarks on behalf of undergraduates student government, Troy Anderson, president of undergraduate student government for the Polytechnic campus. Students, friends, faculty, and family, I am proud to speak before you today. For the past three years, I have worked alongside some of the most innovative and hardworking people I have met to represent you through undergraduate student government. Today, I get to represent you one last time. This year has been a difficult one. There is not a single one of us who has remained untouched by the COVID-19 pandemic. But a pandemic will not be the legacy of today's graduates. I hope that in 10, 20 years, my fellow graduates and I will look back on our final years at ASU knowing that in spite of a global pandemic, we succeeded. We obtained our degrees. We took care of our families. We united our friends, faculty, and professors to fight for human rights and the safety of our environment. Today's graduating class is filled with first-generation students, students who never thought that they would be graduating from college, students doing double duty as parents, students who always knew what they wanted to major in, and students who are still figuring life out. Regardless of who you are as a graduate today, we all share the unwillingness to be held back by the problems of our world, whether they be viral or systemic. We would like to recognize students who have worked full or part-time while pursuing a degree, students who have participated in community service or volunteer work while pursuing a degree, and those students who are first-generation graduates. These are just a few of many ways students identify themselves. As a whole, they represent the purpose of the university, to educate and to enrich the lives of students. On behalf of all of the students from the Tempe, West, Polytechnic, and downtown campuses, and to students completing degrees through ASU's online programs, congratulations to all of today's graduates. We now recognize students graduating with academic honors and those who have committed to military service and the conferral of degrees. Presentations will be made by President Crow and Provost Ciro. This is part of the program where we go back in time, all the way back to what's called Latin honors, all the way back to the formation of uh, the universities a thousand years ago, Cambridge University, Oxford University, Uppsala University in Sweden, Bologna University in uh, Italy, University of Paris and others where they spoke in Latin. I don't know how they did that, but that's what they taught in and they had Latin honors for their very, very significant achievements in academia in Latin. And so uh, what we say here is that to graduate cum laude requires a cumulative grade point average of between 3.4 and 3.59. I'd like to reach out and congratulate all of our students who are graduating today with the honor cum laude. We have a second a Latin honor that we call magna more cum laude. It requires a cumulative grade point average of 3.6 to 3.79. So graduates with the honor magna cum laude, we congratulate you. And then finally, at the top of the peak, those of those the brainiacs that are out there that have really moved forward and achieved what we call summa cum laude. This requires a cumulative grade point average of 3.8 or above. Uh, join me in honoring this year's graduates who have achieved the honor summa cum laude. Thank you. Provost Cyril will now present the Mower Award. Arizona State University is pleased to recognize the graduates who achieved excellent scholastic records. During their undergraduate years at the university, they have attained the highest grade point average of the May 2021 graduating class while completing all their work at Arizona State University in no more than eight semesters. It gives me great pleasure to congratulate Moore Award recipients for spring 2021. Arizona State University is proud to be a strong supporter of military veterans who serve their country as well as students pursuing futures in the armed services through their participation in ROTC programs. We would like to formally recognize all graduating ROTC students and graduating students who are or have been members of the armed services. Thank you for your commitment. We're proud to call you Sun Devils. President Crow, on behalf of the faculty of Arizona State University, I'm pleased to recommend the graduates completing the PhD as well as professional doctoral degrees and master degree candidates. They have fulfilled all requirements for this degree and are worthy of that distinction. So here we are, you're finishing your master's degree and your doctoral degree, a complicated process of working with our faculty. Very proud of all of you. And so based on your efforts, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Arizona Board of Regents 
and on the recommendations of the world-class faculty of Arizona State University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate doctoral degree or master's degree and welcome you to the company of scholars with all of its rights, honors, privileges, and as I always say, most importantly, obligations. Congratulations, masters. Congratulations, doctors. President Crow, on behalf of the faculty of Arizona State University, I'm pleased to recommend the graduates completing the bachelor degree. They have all fulfilled the requirements for this degree and are worthy of that distinction. When we're all together, I usually get last minute data to see who's actually finished for the bachelor's degree. And so I can say that all of you that are here, that are a part of this graduation, even up to the last second, we've gotten you all through. And so we're very, very excited to now actually officially graduate you. So let me do that. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Arizona Board of Regents on the recommendation of the world-class faculty of Arizona State University, I hereby confer upon each of you the appropriate bachelor's degree and admit you to the Fellowship of Educated Women and the Fellowship of Educated Men with all of its rights, honors, privileges, and most importantly, obligations. Congratulations.